Hey you guys, Credit Chaotic, welcome back to my channel. So you know, every month I like to share with you guys my favorite products, whether it's for the hair, whether it's for the skin, or product empties. I usually just like to combine it into one video. So I'm gonna share with you guys my favorite products that I've been dabbling with for the month of April. So keep on watching. All right, so the first thing I wanna talk about is my oils. I still pre poo my hair on the regular. Every month, for the past couple months, I have been switching different oils for my pre poo but the pair that I'm going to show you guys was what I was using before I started my monthly favorites which is the Tropic Isle Living Jamaican Black Castor Oil. This stuff is amazing. I also like to pair it with their Red Pimento Growth Oil. I love these two together. Whenever I pre poo this is what I put on my hair strands. This is what I'm putting on my scalp and when I pair these two together, they're both very thick so I mean I've had this for a while this oil and I don't even think I've reached half the bottle yet I'm right here and same with this I don't have to use a lot of it I mean I do use this a little bit more because it's covering my entire scalp when I'm massaging it but drink of that cast of oil we all know it works wonders it's a very thick oil so you don't have to use a lot of this I also like to use this sometimes when I have a quick protective style or I have braids, plaits, whatever in my hair, I'll finger coil it on my ends because this is supposed to be a great strengthening oil. Also speaking about oils, this was um, something I reviewed on my channel already, but it is a scalp treatment. It's called Canby. I usually use this one more because it's on the go. This right here is awesome guys. I use this whenever I have a drier itchy scalp. When I don't wash my hair for a couple days, especially when I'm not re-moisturizing it or refreshing it, uh, my scalp gets really dry from time to time, so I would use this. I also take this with me to the gym after I sweat it out or I'm like all filthy. I just apply this right to my scalp and it automatically gives you this relieved, refreshed feeling. It has that tingly feeling that you guys hear me talk about all the time. So this is definitely a winner for me. Alright, the next line I know is becoming a bit repetitive. You guys hear me talk about Camille Rose at least once every month. But this line is the Coconut Water Collection. It consists of three products, which is a leave-in conditioner, a deep conditioner, and of course a styler, which is the style setter. If you guys want to see a video of me using the products live, I can link that in the description box below as well because I did do a flat twist out with that and I think you guys would really like that video. And since we're talking about Camille Rose, I'm going to show you guys the Almond Jack Twisting Butter simply because I think I showed this in every one of my videos and really and truly I guess I'm going to say for my go-to styler, especially if I'm doing like a braid out or twist out, nine times out of 10, I will probably be using this unless I'm trying a new product or a different line. But I would say my go-to styler would hands down be the Almond Jack Twist and Butter. Since we're still on the stylers, I am going to talk about the Fortified Naturals Intense Hydrating Potion. I also spoke about this a quite a few times and I told you guys before it's really really moisturizing right now during the summer months this is a perfect time for me to moisturize my hair and these products are bomb I usually use these for my I usually use these for like any rod sets but actually I paired this with the design essentials uh, curl enhancing mousse which is with olive oil and vitamin B so I also like this as well. I tried this for the first time when I did a perm rod set. I'll see if I can insert a picture. But these two together was really, really awesome. This is good on its own, but I told you guys before, normally when I do my rod sets, this is what I would use. But I, I never really was a person to use a lot of foams or mousse type products. But now I think mousses are starting to become my thing. I think I'm going to start using these whenever I have flexi rods or anything. Most foams and mousses, especially if you have layered hair or have a hard time getting your hair to wrap properly on the rods, this is definitely what you guys need. And I'm not saying this one in particular, but a mousse is the type of styler you guys need to look for for that. Now I'm not really big on edge controls, but Actually, when I did this style, I used the Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula um, Super Gel Control, which is for edges. I like it. It did give me a nice hold. I'm not too crazy on the sleek edges look, but this did give me a nice soft hold. I don't like the strong, strong hold. And again, I'm not one to do too many sleek looks. 
so I mean I wasn't too concerned about the the holding strength okay the next thing I want to talk about with you guys is I'm going to do a quick unboxing so I'm going to share everything in this box because everything in here I like this line so this line is going to be the 100% virgin coconut oil daily hydration line and basically I like everything in this box I kept it in this box because it's just easier I get a lot of packages and it just keeps it organized for me but basically everything that came inside this box I already used a couple times and I love it so the first thing I'm going to share with you is the daily hydration shampoo this I really really like this shampoo I can tell this is going to be one of my favorites especially considering that the warmer months are coming up my hair tends to get dry quicker so I am going to look for a lot of products that's going to reach that's going to allow me to retain its moisture. This product had a lot of slip. You guys know I'm really big on that. This product is the Leaf In Conditioner. This was also a great one. I actually, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, I did not have high hopes for this. I didn't think it was going to work for my hair. I am a person that loves Leaf In Conditioners that's usually thicker and heavy. I would say that this does have a runny consistency, but it's still kind of thick. So it's thick, it's like a thick liquid. In fact, the consistency for this looks exactly like coconut milk. So definitely, I did like this. This is a nice lightweight leave-in conditioner. And I was never one that was a fan of lightweight leave-in conditioners. I like heavy ones. You guys see, I usually use a cream-based leave-in conditioner, but this one is, uh, I love it. They also sent me a face milk cleanser and then overnight face oil I really did like the, the cleanser and actually they recommend that after you wash your face with this they recommend that you put the oil on your face now me personally I really did like the face wash I think it makes my face feel really really soft afterwards to the point where I don't really need to put lotion on my face I usually would use this right before I go to bed at night or in the morning sometimes as well I don't have a strict regimen for my face, but I like to use light mild cleansers. Now for the oil, although they do recommend that you can put this on your face overnight, like as an overnight treatment, I did try that once, but I would say it did make me break. I already have oily skin, so I don't like to use oils or moisturizers that's too oily on my skin. I did try it though. My face did feel really soft, but I did have a blemish or two that came along with it the next day. So the only time that I would use this oil is when I wanna use coconut oil or when I'm trying to do the lock method, which is your leave-in, your oil, and your cream. Sent me this cute spray bottle. So what I would do is I would mix some of the oil in here together. So when I wanna refresh my curls, that's what I've been using. I would just spray this all around the perimeter of my hair and that's it until I'm ready to wash it again. And they also sent me the soap for this line i have it in a ziploc bag now because i can't find my soap dish i don't know maybe the kids probably took it but i really did like this but i did notice um it did dry my skin out a bit but i do like the body wash for this a little better than the actual bar soaps when i also use that shea moisture shampoo for the deep conditioner or for the treatment, I did use my Apple G. I am back on Apple G two minute reconstructor. I do a lot of manipulating with my hair. In fact, I did a mini in-depth review using this before. If you guys wanna know more about protein treatments, you guys can definitely check that video out. I would also link that in the description box below. I only have one product empty this month. Everybody and their mama knows about Eco Styler Gel, the olive oil formula. It is pretty much empty, but I can definitely say this product has lasted me a really long time. Well, that brings me to the end of my April monthly favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for the month of May. You guys know I'm going to have you guys covered. If you have any questions or if you want to see me do any live reviews with any products that I've mentioned in any of my videos before, let me know. I'm very active in my comments below or follow me on my platforms at Curly Chaotic and I will see you guys next time. Bye. So when we talk about the scalp, think of your scalp as a plant. A plant is not going to grow properly if you're not watering it on the regular, getting it the sunlight it needs or its nutrients, right? 